So we go on with Joshua Ofori Boateng from Iowa State University, and he will speak about end-to-end -end containerized OEI 5G NR on IRA Wireless Living Lab. Hi everyone. Uh, so uh, today I'll present to you the IRA Wireless Living Lab uh, and uh, an end-to-end -end, um, containerized OEI 5G NR experiment on the campaign. So um, what is ERA? Uh, a wireless um, living lab called ERA. So this is um, an NSF uh, platform for wireless um, advanced research, uh, which supports um, basically um, research on um, smart and connected rural um, um, communities. And um, currently this platform is um, uh, deployed in central Iowa. Uh, it's um, so it currently spans a diameter of uh, 60 kilometers uh, uh, wide, and um, we have um, several like, base stations. So this is actually an outdoor deployment of um, the test bed. And for this phase, we have uh, four base stations that are up and running right now that support um, rural focus research and then development of technologies, uh, which provides uh, really affordable and then um, High capacity uh, connectivity uh, for rural communities and also industries such as um, agriculture. So, um, so for this platform, we have several wireless platforms available uh, from um, SDRs, open source, uh, programmable, commercial off the shelf radios, uh, millimeter wave, um, long distance backhaul, and then also um, uh, free space optical, which is. Uh, actually, the first of its kind for this particular, uh, for the number of um, test beds we have for the, the power platform. So, um, experimenters um, have these capabilities, uh, or uh, these are the capabilities um, available for this test bed. Uh, you can perform uh, spatial, temporal, and spe uh, spectral channel diversity research, um, bandwidth aggregation, uh, massive MIMO, waveforms beyond OFDM, and um, dynamic spectrum share. So uh, this is currently uh, the deployment in um, Iowa right now. So we have a data center uh, where we have a controller and storage service and compute service. Uh, and then um, the high speed um, fiber backhaul link that connects to our base station. So currently this is one of our base stations with um, an SDR um, host and uh, connected to a USRP um, front end uh, radio unit. So we also have a TDB front end that are co connected to these um, SDRs. So uh, currently we have about um, 20 NIB 210s for our UEs that are deployed around central Iowa, uh, 13 to be fixed, uh, and then seven mobile, which are deployed um, on uh, school buses and uh, police vehicles and um, uh, fire, fire and commander vehicles for researchers to perform uh, mobility experiments. So um, for this particular demo, we'll be looking at the support for OEI on this um, test bed. And this is the actual set setup that we have on our platform. We have the, the core network, we have the base station and the UE. The base station and UE are, um, are deployed in Docker containers. And um, we have uh, Mac VLAN uh, networks um, that are, are created uh, for these Docker containers to be able to, uh, for example, GNOV to connect to the core network and also uh, to access the um, USRP and transmit and receive IP. So, um, uh, what does this um, entail? So researchers that may want to, for example, you may have a, um, a lab setting or a setup in your lab that you perform maybe a 5G experiment with OAI and you want to um, come up or come out to um, a real world setting uh, where you want to perform, let's say, um, link measurements or an, an um, outdoor experiment on an actual test bed. Uh, you can just um, create an image from your experiment, uh, log on to a deeply programmable and open source platform, and then reserve nodes, um, create leases, and then launch your containers and perform your experiment. So uh, we'll be out there at our stand, and uh, if you are interested in uh, becoming one of uh, the early users of our test bed, uh, you may um, ask your questions and then uh, we'll be ready to help. Right, thanks.